just an average day. Or so it seems. But today is anything but average. Wait, why don't you open your card? Okay. And then it hits. It's time for Mike's colon cancer screening. Whoa. <laughs> While getting screened for colon cancer can lend itself to humor and stories told by anyone who has been through the process, the truth is it's no laughing matter. And the best defense against getting colon cancer is screening. The bottom line is colon cancer screening must begin at age 50. Let's look at the facts. Colon cancer is the third most common cancer and the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the United States. African Americans are at a higher risk and should begin screening at age 45. And studies show that poor eating habits and a personal or family history of colon cancer, uterine cancer, ovarian cancer, and colon polyps may raise your risk of colon cancer. My brother was 17 when he was diagnosed with colon cancer. He had um, part of his colon removed. He went through chemotherapy. He was actually cured. He was fine. And um, I wanna say he was fine for about six months. And then he started with stomach pains again. They found that the colon had, cancer had come back. He passed away at the age of 19. He was sent into a hospice. Because of my brother having been diagnosed at such a young age with colon cancer, um, I already scheduled my colonoscopy. The colon is the large intestine or large bowel, and the rectum is the area between the colon and the anus. Colorectal cancer occurs in the colon or rectum and begins when a colon polyp becomes cancerous. A colon polyp is a small clump of cells that forms on the inside of the colon. Most polyps are harmless, but some can become cancerous over time. Symptoms of colorectal cancer can appear in a variety of ways. Signs to look for include blood in your stool, frequent stomach aches, pains or cramps for no reason, a change in bowel habits like having stools that are more narrow than usual, and losing weight. However, these symptoms often appear in the later stages of colon cancer, and those who develop colon polyps are unlikely to ever know that they have them without a screening. So how can you tell if you have colon polyps? You can't, which is why doctors tell people to start screening at age 50, and for African Americans to begin screening at age 45. If you have a family history, you should also talk to your doctor about getting screened 10 years earlier than your relative was diagnosed. Polyps found early can be removed before they become cancerous. And when colorectal cancer is found early, more treatment options are available. Simply put, screening saves lives. I think people avoid a colorectal cancer screening uh, for fear, for fear that, that something bad will be found, that a cancer will actually be found. But um, in fact, colorectal cancer can be prevented with a colorectal cancer screening. I think a lot of patients aren't aware that they're, they're usually asleep and made very comfortable for the procedure. I think they think that they're going to be awake and I mean, there have been um, things shown on TV where the uh, patient is actually awake during their colonoscopy and that's not the case. We make sure the patient is, is very comfortable for the procedure. Colorectal screening allows us to diagnose cancer earlier or even prevent cancer. We want, to, we want to diagnose it before a patient has signs or symptoms of cancer. Then it's at an earlier stage and that's what colonoscopy allows us to do. There are several types of screening tests for colorectal cancer with the colonoscopy being the most common. Talk to your doctor about the test that's right for you. Well, I was uh, actually at my 50th birthday party. A friend of mine uh, gave up to me and uh, said, you know, now that you're 50, uh, you're going to get all the good tests. When it was all over, I'm thinking to myself, well, what was all the fuss? You know, is it really? The, the experience was um, no discomfort whatsoever. 
Even early colon cancer may have no symptoms and may have no signs. So that is why doing the performance of a test to see whether somebody is developing this kind of abnormalities is important. Otherwise, if we purely went by symptoms, we would only ad diagnose advanced colon cancer. The screening has decreased the rate of colon cancer in screened populations by at least 50%. I always tell my patients, the outcome of a colonoscopy is in your own hands. There are many different kinds of preps, but the key thing is to follow the instructions and go through with the plan. I uh, had an opportunity to um, uh, go with a girlfriend of mine who had a colonoscopy. So that was a great experience for me because I was able to see the facility, um, kind of experience um, through her being more an observer. And um, so that just made it a lot easier for me when it was my time, when I turned 50, to have my colonoscopy. It might ease some of your nervousness or ease your um, stress about having the procedure. Once they give you that little IV and you start counting backwards, the next thing I knew, bang, I woke up. It was like magic. It was razzmatazz. I'm like, what? You're done already? I mean, it was, it was just really easy. I recommend just make the appointment, which is probably the hardest step, is just make the appointment and commit the time. There's no residual effects uh, with a properly done colonoscopy or back to normal by the same day, if not the next day. For screening colonoscopies, typically about 20%, 25% of the people we find true polyps. If we find a polyp, we would determine the, the further recommendations would depend on uh, the type of polyp you have, the size of the polyp, and the uh, number of polyps and obviously your family, your uh, past medical history. If there's nothing else you get from uh, your family history, pay attention to like who died of what. Fortunately, colon cancer is both preventable and highly treatable when detected early. I did uh, increase the conversation, you know, you're gonna have to have that done. And he was like, no, nah, I really don't have to have she it done. She increased it, but I didn't, I wasn't, I wasn't hearing that. Yeah. I actually blocked it out. Oftentimes in many um, communities, in many races, um, especially African Americans, I mean, it's a taboo thing, it's something you don't discuss. Most males don't want to have it, and especially most black males, it, African American yes, yes, males, yes. Um, different um, nationalities, ethnicities, they think that that's something wrong, you don't have to do screening. It was, it was a breeze. I actually got worked up for, I'm, I'll say it, okay. I, I actually got worked up for nothing. nothing. The bottom line is, if you're 50 or older, talk to your doctor about getting screened. As an African American, please get tested early. Get screened today. Do something good for yourself. Get screened today. Please do what I did. Please get tested. If you're Hispanic, get tested today. Celebrate your 50th by getting screened. African Americans are at higher risk for colon cancer, so please begin getting your screenings by age 45. Don't wait until you have symptoms. Call your doctor today.